Real Agriculture's coverage of the 2023 Canada's Outdoor Farm Show is brought to you by Pride Seeds. Discover the power of performance. Find out more by going to prideseeds.com. Bernard Tobin here at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. I am catching up now with Chris Morrison from Raven. Chris, how's it going? I'm just, I'm doing really good, Bernard. I, I love coming to Canada Outdoor Farm Show. This seems to be my one definite annual pilgrimage over to the east side. I'm a Western Canadian boy, so having a good time, learning about corn and soybeans <laughs> and different crops than I get at home. There's, uh, I haven't seen a canola field, but it's looking good over here. Well, hey, it's great to have you here. I want to talk about Raven, the autonomous story. You know, we've seen the, the Trident spreader with Raven autonomy, um, Omni Power and Omni Drive launched last year at the Farm Progress Show, and now we have Raven Cart Automation. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a, a really exciting ride with Raven and, and figuring out how to get autonomy out to the industry. And, you know, we started with uh, OmniPower, which was previously known as DOT, and, and we also started with OmniDrive, which was previously known as AutoCart. Uh, both have been in the field. Uh, we've had a lot of success with them over the last couple of years, but we are really, really excited to be commercially uh, making available one of our first uh, products to the, the wide stream, and that's Raven Cart Automation. So it will be available on uh, any combines uh, that are 20, uh, about 2020 and newer. Really what we need in those combines is to have an AFS Connect cab in a, in a red one or a case one or a PLM Connect cab in a New Holland one. Uh, and yeah, any, any customers that are ready to dip their toe into the autonomous pool, we're, we're ready to welcome the mainstream into this uh, venture. Hey, tell me about the, uh, the Raven cart technology you know how does it link to the combine yeah so it's exciting you know everything really does come back to gps you know and and uh, uh thinking back uh, light bars you know we were excited about being able to steer and then we got to mapping and and gps systems and, and this is just another iteration of a product that has come out of that and we're realizing the true value of being able to properly steer machines and monitor where they're at so what we're really doing is if, if you can imagine a grain cart being beside this combine, we have an RTK uh, GPS antenna on the combine, one on the tractor, and when you set up, we basically just put out the unload auger on the combine, get it over the center of the grain cart when it's in the field or in the yard, wherever, uh, and we hit train basically on the system. And what that's done is it's learned exactly how far ahead and to the side that RTK antenna on the combine should be for the one on the tractor when we're in unload position. So when, uh, when the operator in the, the tractor with the grain cart comes into position from the combine you take over. So we hit a button in the combine saying I want to want to unload. It's going to take over uh, operation of that tractor, put it into position where we trained it. I want, basically want this RTK antenna this distance from this one and hold it there. It doesn't matter where we steer the combine, whether we speed it up, slow it down, it's automatically going to make that tractor chase that RTK antenna until the operator of the, the tractor takes over, which is basically just grabbing the steering wheel and steering out of that position. Super excited about yeah. getting this into the hands of, of our customers. Um, big impact here for operators, uh, Chris. I mean, certainly has to reduce the stress. Yeah, huge, huge amount. So it's really easy for, for the industry to talk about this with uh, savings of product, which there will be. We're going to cut down on, on spillage. We're going to you know, be more efficient because we can probably unload at a faster speed than we'd be comfortable with. But a huge thing that needs to be recognized about this product is the stress level of, of both operators. But the combine operator uh, especially... You know, with, with automation and everything that there is in these combines now for them to set themselves and, you know, the, the, you're really letting that combine do its job and, and eat crop as fast as it can. One of the highest stress points there is now is that unload operation. And part of it is we have to think about who our partner is in the field. Uh, one of the customers I have that tested this had three combines and one grain cart running in the in the field. That grain cart would have up to four different operators throughout the course of the year, depending on who was available to jump in it and who was busy doing other things. Well, what they described was having not having to think about the ability of that operator that was in the tractor. If it was their most experienced uh, tractor driver in that grain cart, 
They knew that he was probably going to be looking ahead in the field. He was going to realize when they were coming into some heavier yield spots and anticipate that the combine was going to slow down. Uh, if it wasn't that experienced operator, they'd have to be radioing them and letting them know and in constant communication on what's coming up and how am I going to operate. Now they just know that that grain cart is going to stay exactly where, where they want it uh, as soon as it links. And actually from the combine, you even have the ability to move that grain cart up or, or yep. back it off to make sure your load is going uh, where you want it into the grain cart. So you don't even have to radio the operator to tell them move forward or move back. Uh, I have complete control over the operation and uh, as soon as we're done, I, I radio we're done or even just give a wave through the window and that, that tractor operator uh, leaves and there's been no stress at all on that combine operator. Final question for you and that is about availability. When can farmers tap in to Raven Card Automation? Yeah, so and that's the really exciting part. This is available now. So uh, what, we, what we need is that PLM Connect or AFS Connect cab in the tractor. Uh, the combines, uh, pretty much any case or New Holland combine made uh, 2015 or, or after is certainly able to, to take it. Uh, talk to your local dealer. Mm -hmm. Any case or New Holland dealer can uh, you know, look at getting you one of these in, in the field for 2024 fall.